I moved to Costa Rica when I was about 12 years old. Uh, it was a really big adjustment just considering the fact that there's really big lifestyle differences between Los Angeles and Costa Rica. Uh, some examples of that would be running water and uh, power. Uh, so an example would be about two to three months into my time in Costa Rica, I woke up one morning and there was no power, no water. I s flicked a light switch, nothing happened, trying to turn the shower on. And so I grabbed my shampoo and went down to the ocean. Um, and so that was one of the biggest eye-opening experiences and the biggest periods of adjustment that I experienced from Los Angeles to Costa Rica. I mean, it was a big adjustment for my family, uh, but I feel like it was a beneficial one. There was definitely aspects where we got, we became closer. And there was like my sisters, for example, we fought a lot in Los Angeles. There was a lot of disagreements, uh, but being in Costa Rica, especially at the start when we didn't have that many friends locally, we really had to rely on each other. And so kind of taking my sisters for granted was something I did in Los Angeles that I couldn't do any longer in Costa Rica. The national slogan of Costa Rica is Pura Vida, and that means pure life, which is essentially let life guide you and kind of go with the flow. And I feel like that's a very good definition of what life is like in Costa Rica. There's very, you don't have to show up to everything completely on time. It's more relaxed. And yet there's a seriousness to it of being able to take care of yourself and forging your own path. And so there's a lot of freedom, a lot of individuality, and the ability of someone to make their own choices. But you have to live with those choices and live with the life that you created. And so it's a lot about being able to create your own path. And I feel like that's a description for life in Costa Rica. The soccer, of course, was a very large uh, sporting aspect of Costa Rica, but I found my passion in surfing. Uh, surfing, there's a certain tranquility to it of waiting in between waves or just the relentless ability you have to have to just keep going when you get smacked back by a wave. So I found my passion in surfing and I must have surfed at least four to five hours a day for almost two years. There was a lot of reasons, uh, but the main reason was for college and college opportunities. Um, we had an amazing life in Costa Rica. We learned a lot, developed as people across my entire family, but there are certain aspects such as education and just other things that are very prominent in a first world society that aren't as prominent in a third world society that my parents wanted us to experience. And so that led to me coming back right before I turned 16. I would say one of the biggest lessons I learned about myself is just the fact that you have to keep going and that I have the ability to keep going uh, and that my mind will quit a thousand times before my body does. And so if I can get over that mental hurdle of I can't do this or this is even if it's not something I even think is possible, just really going and trying to do it, giving my best effort and realizing that that's the best that I could do is probably the biggest thing I learned there. I, I played flag football a few years when I was younger and I've always had a love for the game, but I never took it seriously or committed to it the same way I did, say, baseball when I was younger. But as soon as I got back from Costa Rica, I was looking for a purpose, something that really bonded me together with my community, which was specifically at the time my high school. And I found it in football. Uh, the first day I got back, I showed up to my high school campus and one of the football coaches actually saw me and they said, hey, we're in the weight room, you come in? And I was like, I, I guess I am. <laughs> um, and so it was really cool that uh, I got that opportunity, but that just started laying the way for a bunch of hard work and a very, very awesome result that I'm grateful for to be able to start so late and still reach this point in my life.